Hey guys, I'm just going to walk you through how to use the Mutamix for step sequencing. So using the jumper in the back of the Mutamix, I have it set to 5 volt mode, so the Mutamix is ready to go and will send a 5 volt range when you raise the sliders. But there's a few things that you kind of need to configure before you can start using it as a step sequencer. The first one is a personal preference thing. Inverting the LED behavior, I think, makes things more clear for using it as a step sequencer. So in the default mode, the LEDs are off when the channel is active and on when the channel is muted. If you hold down the pulse button while you turn on the unit, it reverses that behavior. So now if an LED is on, that channel is active. So, you know, when you're step sequencing with the Mutamix, you're probably only going to be using one channel at a time. So for example, if I take the bus A output and I have all my channels set to bus A and I have the main output of the Atlantis plugged in there. Right now I just have that one channel active. So I can raise the pitch by raising that slider. If I have two channels active or three channels active you can hear it quickly gets uh, into a pretty high frequency range. Uh, you know, great if you're making music for your dog, but for the rest of us, you're probably only going to want one channel active so you don't get that cumulative uh, pitch effect. So when using it as a step sequencer, what we need to do is save presets with one channel active per preset. So right now we have channel one as the only channel active, so I'm going to save that as my first preset, and I'm going to do the same thing for each one of these presets. So I'm just going to have one channel active per preset. And so now if I go into X mode, I can toggle between those presets and you can see that there's only one channel active per preset. And so that I don't have to set that up again, I'm going to hold down the save button and save those settings to EEPROM so it's all configured and ready to go for next time. Uh, let's get a few different step sequencer values there. In order to have it step through those presets, we need to go into X mode and send a clock signal. So I'm going to take the clock from the Metropolis, run that into the clock input here, and now you can see it's stepping through the sequences. Uh, it's not sending gates, so we can manually trigger Atlantis, but uh, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to take the gate output and run that into the gate input on Atlantis here. And so now Mutamix is sending a step sequence to Atlantis. And so because we are using Mutamix for step sequencing, there's some pretty cool things we can do. In X mode, you can double tap these buttons to uh, activate the features on the uh, written on the X mode function list on the bottom here, or you can send CV. Uh, so for example, we can change the direction by double tapping that button, or we can take the sync output from Metropolis and plug that in there to change the direction uh, whenever the sync pulse fires. So that's a pretty cool start. The other really cool thing with Mutamix is we still have inputs that we can use to send LFOs or envelopes or other signals. So I'm going to go ahead and take an output from Quadra here and put that on this first input. So we got some pretty funky kind of FM uh, stuff happening on that first step. And then I've got four set as a slower envelope. And let's put that on step six here. And the 
other unique thing about Mutamix is that we have three bus outputs that we can take advantage of. So, for example, let's take bus C and route that into the filter mod input. And let's take that last step there and send that to the filter. And let's do the same thing with that first step too. And let's try using the sync to control random. And the other thing worth mentioning, if you hold down the pulse button, you can change the length of the pattern. So by holding down the pulse button and hitting that fourth preset now, it's just stepping through those four presets, and the random input is selecting from those first four presets. Here I have the Mutamix set up to offset the pitch pre LFO on the aux B input of Metropolis. So what that means is whenever the Metropolis sends a sync output, it's going to advance the clock of the Mutamix and it's going to step through, uh, right now it's set to step through four presets. So we've got a four step sequence and on each one of these steps, it's gonna change the pre-quantized pitch of the Metropolis. So we're gonna have it change the pitch of the sequence to create a progression. So let's see how this sounds. So in this case, the LEDs are set to the default mode where the LEDs are on when muted. <laughs> 